Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Google Maps that was just announced at the I.O. conference. Now this Google Maps version has not been officially released to the public or anything like that. This is just an early bird uh, version. You basically apply with an email address and within a few days you get an invite to try out this new beta type version. So without further ado, we're going to start exploring the new wonders of Google Maps. It's really nice full screen. So when you first launch Maps, you get this nice full screen canvas. You can see basically the whole world right now. <laughs> so you guys can see that left top search button here. So let's take a tour and see what is new. So the first thing that it tells you is that there is a new smarter search box. So you can search for something like pizza in Toronto. Ontario and then basically you see all these forks and knives on the map all these places are pizza places located in the city of Toronto so basically what you do is if you want to find out more about a place say I want to tap pizza pizza a little card comes up for pizza pizza the address the hours and also some reviews so that launches the Google Plus page with a number of reviews for this restaurant location. So the next thing that you can do is you can click this X to clear your results. That's pretty straightforward. And something that's brand new, I've never really seen anything like this except for dropping pins before, is that you can now click anywhere on any road. So let's say we click here on Broadway Avenue. Basically, wherever you click, it brings up that exact or approximate address to where you clicked. And then you can dive right into Street View, and you're right on the street. It's really quick access to Street View. Um, it's a nice way to browse around your neighborhood or browse around somewhere that you're going to be traveling or something like that. You guys can do that easy, nice rotation here. And it also brings up streets that are located within the area so I can just swipe from left to right to see other streets so here's Bayview Avenue and it's nice a nice little touch I've noticed is the arrow for navigating through Street View is nice and new it's just a nice refresh and nice new design now one of the brand new exclusive features to Google Maps is the ability to view uh, buildings and downtown suburbs in 3D renders so it's only available in select cities as of now but there are a number of places such as historic locations that can utilize this functionality at the moment. So one of the places is the St. Louis Arch. So let's search up St. Whoopsies. St. Louis Arch. And right away we get the St. Louis Arch on the map. And now there's this little earth view button right down here on the left. So if we select that, you guys can see that it has popped me into 3D mode. So if I keep zooming in, zoom in zoom in you can really get a good view of the arch so let's try swiveling this around so here we can go flat one more and then now we get a really good perspective about the buildings and how it is downtown and stuff like that so I thought that was pretty neat it's pretty awesome actually you really get to see that arch. Let's just try one more place like the Empire State Building. And see if we can get some 3D here. We should be able to. Let's give it a little bit of zoom in. And let's go a little bit flatter. And there you guys can see the 3D renders, 3D buildings. And there's the Empire State Building right there. So this is quite interesting, especially around City of New York. You can see all the buildings. It's taking a little bit of time to load, but this is just a beta. So I'm sure that'll get fixed in the coming days and months. But it's really cool that you can see this kind of graphics on your browser. So that's it for 3D view. So something really cool that Google has added to its map this year is some exclusive locations with underwater views. So let's search for Heron Island Dive Site. This is one of the locations that they have added underwater views. So if we basically just tap this, we're getting an underwater street view. Like look at the turtle, look at the detail under here guys. This is absolutely stunning. Never seen anything like this before. 
from a search engine like have you guys i don't think so you can navigate your way around the ocean which is very very cool they brought in divers under here with street view cameras and i just find it fascinating that you can do this i mean it's awesome it's a really cool way to explore the world so another cool thing that Google is trying to implement into its mapping technology like they have for a little bit now but they're trying to improve is the ability to go inside buildings with Street View. So there's this little place around my area and it is called Fun Fun Haven. And basically what they have done here is the see inside option here. So if you tap that, you can actually go inside of this building. You can navigate around as if it was a road. I mean, how cool is that? It's pretty awesome. You guys have to admit, you guys can actually see what the experience is going to be like at this place. You guys can see the bowling. You guys can see the slides. You guys can see the bumper cars. It looks absolutely awesome. You can also browse through some photos like you have been able to do at, for a while now. And then here's the outdoor street view. Another thing that I see Google has done is added airplane flying directions. So I'm not sure how this works, but let's try it out. So let's say that we want to get from, let's start uh, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and let's go to Vancouver, Canada, where my cousins live. So let's start that. And I see there is airplane directions here. So basically what's come up is a number of different fares so we can see six hundred and fifty four dollars so see results on google flights air canada westjet round trip six hundred and fifty four dollars and then if you click view flights you can see flights that take you right to vancouver um the different prices and stuff like that with the layovers so that's absolutely awesome that's pretty cool so Google's really stepped up the bar with their mapping technology. I'm quite impressed with what they've been able to do in this update. The nice full screen views and earth view and everything like that. I'm really impressed with what they've done. And I think that Apple really needs to step up their game on their maps because their maps were just an absolute fail. Google has also launched Maps 5.0 for Android devices that has not been available for the iPhone as of yet. I don't know if it will ever be because Apple and Google are obviously not getting along. But that's just been a quick view of the brand new Google Maps for desktop. It's got this nice full screen view like I already said. <laughs> it just looks really cool. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to drop the like button down below and hit up that subscribe button if you'd like to see some more great content. I'd also like to know how you guys like my new channel banner that I've just redesigned and it's uploaded for you guys to see. So, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, later. Peace.